Let's get straight to the point. Number 3. An Iron Stomach Your great-great-great-grandfathers had stomachs made of pure steel. They were, in essence, walking garbage disposal plants. While we whine about expired milk, our ancestors gobbled up week-old mammoth meat without batting an eye. Their secret weapon was a gut full of super bacteria. Imagine having an entire special forces unit in your stomach. Some microbes could break down tough plant fibers that would give us terrible colic today. Others worked like tiny bodyguards, fighting off dangerous bacteria that tried to cause disease. These intestinal warriors were so good that they could even neutralize natural poisons. Ancient people could eat food that would send us straight to intensive care. No refrigerators, no expiration dates, no sanitary standards. Just eat what you find, and your iron stomach will take care of it. But what happened to this superpower? We became too clean. Modern life, with all its processed food, antibiotics, and sanitizers, has turned our steel stomachs into delicate flowers. So next time you get food poisoning from a questionable shawarma at the train station, remember that your ancestors could have eaten the same fish after it had been lying in the sun for a couple of days. Number 2. Primitive Superpowers Modern athletes would seem like wimps compared to our ancient ancestors. Their bones were so dense that they could withstand falls that would turn our skeletons to dust. Scientists have found that the bone density of ancient humans was 20% higher than ours today. It's like having natural armor built right into your skeleton. And it wasn't because of some magical prehistoric superfood. Their daily routine was essentially hellish crossfit. Chasing prey, climbing mountains, carrying heavy loads, and periodically running from those who wanted to eat them. Every single day was a workout. Their bodies adapted to this lifestyle. Their bones suffered micro damage, but instead of whining, their bodies recovered and became even stronger. Modern humans, in comparison, live in a bubble wrap. For some of us, the most exercise we get is aggressive typing on a keyboard and occasionally lifting pizza to our mouths. So, the next time you feel cool after doing 10 push-ups, remember that your ancestors were walking tanks. Number one is the human thermostat. Your ancestors had a superpower that allowed them to survive in both scorching deserts and icy tundras without any fancy equipment. They could regulate their body temperature like some kind of human thermostat. When it got cold, their bodies kicked into overdrive, burning extra energy for warmth. Their muscles began to perform tiny, invisible exercises, generating heat like a biological heater. And in the heat, their sweating system was so powerful that they could cool down faster than your overheating laptop. And it wasn't a genetic lottery. Anyone could develop these abilities through what is known as acclimatization. The more time you spent in extreme temperatures, the better your body coped with them. It's like a superpower that gets stronger the more you use it. The Eskimos were so good at it that they could hang out in sub-zero temperatures wearing what was essentially a fashionable jumpsuit made of animal skins and tribes in the desert walked around in 50-degree heat as if it were a pleasant spring day. But then we invented heaters and air conditioners, and that's how we became lazy. Our internal thermostat began to rust from inactivity. That's why we now have a nervous breakdown if someone in the office changes the temperature on the thermostat by 2 degrees.